50 body squats, 37 push ups, 17 pull ups, one mile run. We're at 2330. What? What? <laughs> Holy shit! 2330? Oh my god. You're looking for efficiency here, aren't you? Definitely looking for efficiency. Hey, what's up you guys? What is going on? And welcome back to another Rugby Player Reacts to a Fitness Challenge video. Today's video, well, it's called the Murph. The challenge that we're going to be looking at is called the Murph. It's to do with CrossFit. Basically today's video is to get the numbers, the challenge, down in my head so then when I do go down and attempt it myself, uh, well, we can we can do it legit. You could say I don't want to. You know, when I when I do anything in life, you know, it's not a, not only in this channel, but in life. Are you the type of person that when you're cleaning the windowsill, do you move that jar and clean under it, or do you just leave it there and just continue to clean around it? Are you the one that actually picks it up and wipes underneath and then puts it back down, or are you the person that just takes the easy way out? And when I'm creating videos, when I'm doing challenges, I want it to be legit. I want numbers, I want statistics, I want analytics and uh, you know from there someone watching my video can get all the information they need and then go out and do it themselves. Today's video we're looking at the Murph. So with that being said, I suppose I should write it into YouTube. Murph fitness test. Nick Bear. Um, yep, I think he would definitely be the guy to watch. I've been a fan of Nick Bear for years. So if he's going to talk about the Murph, and not only that, but he's going to talk about his best time ever. I'm going to give it a watch. Last time I did the Murph, I think I did 45 minutes, and I was in no cardio shape at all. I just did it for more of a day for fun. So this is, I'm in actually pretty good cardio shape right now. So ready? Three, two, one. Now, Nick Bear's videos were good back then. This is three years on. They've come a long way. This guy, his videos are... He must have an editor. If he does everything he does in his life, his busy life, plus edits his videos, he's doing a fucking great job. But I've got to say, guys, anyone that's interested in the army, anyone that's interested in fitness, anyone that's interested in running, lifting, creating your own company, supplements, definitely follow Nick Bear. Um, All right, guys, today's going to be an awesome, go. awesome day. For one, starting off with cold brew. So these things... I've been picking up at Whole Foods, like 250. I see a lot of myself in this guy. In fact, I have done for the five or so years that I've followed him. That's why I've continued to follow him. Absolutely love training. Love it. He probably loves sports too. I'm not exactly sure what sports he likes. He went to the army and became a personal trainer. And now he lives the dream life. I call it Hey, Hey Coffee. It's actually pretty good cold brew. I'm waiting on uh, my plates from Tactical Taylor to come in today from my play carrier, which means we can officially do the Murph challenge. The Murph is today. And take a look at what is back. First time since Korea. Over at Oats. Now with over Organ and bam. I think it's super dense. Man. And I started to Come on, mate. We don't have guns in this country. Play carrier. All right, last time I did the Murph, I think I did 45 after the mile runs. Okay, here we go. What is it, Nick? Let's do this. Okay, it's Murph time. The Murph, if you're not tracking, it's one mile run, 300 body squats, 200 push ups, 100 pull ups, and then another mile run. We already have the mile mapped out because I've done the Murph here before. The way I'm going to break it up too is after the mile runs, uh, it's going to be six iterations. So each iteration is going to be. Hang on. Two is I missed that. It's one mile run, 300 body squats, 200 push ups, 100 pull ups, and then another mile run. We already have the mile mapped out because I've done the Murph here before. Fuck me, dead. <laughs> Let's see what this guy gets. This will be interesting. So each iteration is going to be 50. It's going to be pretty elite. 34 push ups and 17 pull ups before the other mile run. And officially, you're supposed to do it in play Hang on, here. what? Uh, iteration is going to be 50. It was after the mile runs. Uh, it's going to be six iterations. So each iteration is going to be. 50 body squats, 34 push-ups, and 17 pull-ups before the other mile run. 
And officially you're supposed to do it in Blake here. Our right, last time I did the Murph, I think I did four. Okay, so he's gonna go ten percent. No, he's gonna go what is that? A sixth. He's gonna try and do it in six lots. Okay. Forty five minutes and I was no cardio shape at all. I just did it for mortal day for fun. So this is I'm in actually pretty good cardio shape right now. So ready? Three, two. The pull ups will kill me. Literally. Mile one, five forty six. That's fast. Mile time, five forty six. Oh, this is going to be horrible. I'm going to do it. It's possible. That's the cool thing. The pull ups are just going to be just disgusting. But I guess it doesn't matter if it takes you 45 minutes like he originally did or two hours. As long as you finish it, that's the main thing. And I think if you do rest enough, long enough, you will get the strength back to continue. So it's definitely, fe it's definitely finishable, definitely feasible. There's working out, there's like weightlifting, there's running long distance, and there's a mix between the two. It's a beast on its own. If you've never done this workout, do it. I guarantee it'll break you off. Love this guy, man. I don't know why he's got a weighted vest on. Last round. 50 body squats, 37 push ups, 17 pull ups, one mile run. We're at 2330. What? What? Holy shit. 2330? Oh my god. You're looking for efficiency here, aren't you? Definitely looking for efficiency. He's actually slimmed down quite a fair bit since then. He's probably about he's probably about 15 pounds lighter now than he was then because he's currently training for a marathon. He wants to get a three-hour marathon. <laughs> I'm sure it would. 34-33, holy 34, shit! It's been a while since I ran a plate carrier, man. Sweet, bro. Let me see someone else. Okay, this is the CrossFit Games. Wearing a 20 pound weight vest. You have to wear a 20 pound weight vest. Oh, shit. Okay. Interesting. Let's see. He just got 30... Obviously, they don't have the, the judges to make sure that every rep is perfect, but Nick Beer just got 34-33. Let's see how these guys go. Well, maybe, maybe, we should, maybe we should watch this on its own video. I think that's exactly what we're going to do, guys. So, please, if you love fitness, you love bodybuilding, training, football, rugby, doesn't matter what you fucking love. I love all sorts of shit. But on this channel, we definitely love training. We love physical training. And, uh, well, I, I got obsessed with CrossFit for probably six months back in 2017. So I know what it's about. I've done a fair few CrossFit uh, workouts. WOD. WODs, they call them. Workout of the day. Um, but this is going to be really interesting. It's 59 minutes long. I'm, I'm going to... Yeah, let's, let's watch the whole thing. Because if, if Nick Beer, I can say right now, if Nick Beer can beat any of these guys, that's fucking solid. But obviously, the Murph is only one event of the entire weekend so we have to keep that in mind but with all that being said i'll see you then peace out